just wanted to pop on here today and see what's coming through for us. I want to peek into the Divine Masculine Collective. Let's see what we've got for the next couple of weeks. Um, first couple of weeks of October for the Divine Masculine Collective. Just because I'm insanely curious. Let's see. Messages for the Divine Masculine Collective. Oh, hello there. <laughs> My name is Julia Rose. Welcome to my channel from Spirit for Love. One of these days, I'll get more into what that means and why I chose that, but yeah. In the meantime, let's see what we got. Messages for the Divine Masculine Collective. First couple weeks of October 2023. It's like foggy. <laughs> I'm getting that vision is clouded. Um, like not able to really see clearly see what else we've got mm. okay so that's interesting uh this one of these cards that came out um simplifying your life i cherish the simple pleasures in life you see all this like this <laughs> these clouds of dust and clutter like coming out up to the surface this is again related to the other message that i just posted but about you know clearing house <laughs> clearing house <laughs> everything's gotta go spirit said <laughs> everything's gotta go <laughs> so i have a feeling the divine masculine is going to be waiting for the dust to settle um, to be making any important life decisions right now or if they feel motivated with this fiery energy I would encourage any divine masculines out there listening to this to to uh, slow your roll it's not usually something I would say um, just to let that just to see where everything falls into place and then once that from that from that space of clarity being able to move ahead with your decision making and because of this being such a externally turbulent time it's a really powerful moment for the divine masculines to be reconnecting to their own intuition we have this here awakening ancient wisdom deep inner knowing is emerging within me and this always reminds me of the ace of cups like renewal of spirit so you can see how the it's like a window in a dark <laughs> cave if you will mm. And the sun is shining bright on this, this overflowing cup, illuminating what's coming out of it. So the divine masculines are trusting their intuition and leaning on it more strongly because they can't see as clearly. And it's providing a sense of warmth and comfort that they might not have known before. Being able to trust oneself and rely on one's intuition to protect one's own interests yeah so that's huge <laughs> go divine masculines uh this they wanted me to pull a couple of um cards from the sacred creators 
Oracle by Chris Ann. Um, seeing here, okay, that one. Okay. Is there one more? Can I have one more, please? Just one. Okay, mm. so what came out was a card called The Good Kind, associated with number 35. I'm liking this pinky color. I'm just gonna pull a couple of messages from the, from the deck book. It's essential meanings, bringing love and kindness to your situation honest and fulfilling work, acting from the heart, the bounty of a job well done, doing the right thing, serving with love, finding joy in the simple pleasures of life, and seeking simplicity and the goodness in your solution. As a self-care message, that could also mean a need to put others first, time spent defining the good you bring to the world, a need to stop judging, accepting others the way as Accepting others as they are and being the change. <laughs> She's so funny. Okay. Being the change. Yeah. The divine masculine is, is relying on instinct. And this instinct is guiding them in a way that their material eyes can't see. So it's providing... Providing direction. Yeah, it was providing. She just bumped my leg when I said providing. Hmm. It makes me think that Oh, okay. So your mission is, in, in another aspect of your mission is revealing itself to you. In order for you to be prosperous, it, you're, you're to engage yourself in the service of others and providing, providing some, some wisdom, some skill, some talent to others. Yeah, we're coming coming much more into a, a service mindset and really embracing the role models in your life that, that show you this perspective and this um, modus operandi. <laughs> what is with this? That's for someone out there. Um, mode of operation. I, I don't speak Latin, so I apologize if I butchered that. So... Yeah, I'm gonna, I wanna get a little bit deeper into what the, the holdup is though. Like, what's the setback here? It's like you're coming into a new emotional awareness of yourself and because this is, <laughs> oh, okay. So this full moon is catalyzing a lot of It's every every emotion that you had kind of nicely settled and packed down, compartmentalized, is all being just like <laughs> brought up for you to process and review. And that is kind of that is one aspect of this this fogginess, this inability to see clearly. I need the air quotes there. Um, 
Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, Divine Masculine, do you, do you appreciate what a gem you are? I feel all these insecurities coming up from all of these experiences that you thought you'd laid to rest and it's causing your mind to spin and your heart feels thrown off balance but really it was your heart that brought things up these things up to the surface to be reviewed So you can find balance in your in your approach to how you to how you approach your service to your um, to your career. This is this feels like a, a career message. Your abundance is is tied to your tied to the alignment between your head and your heart working from a completely root chakra survival based perspective won't fulfill you in the way that you know you need and as you're taking time to review all these things that are coming up you're starting to see you're starting to see how these these experiences have have taught you how how precious you are yes i said precious <laughs> and, and how how cherished you are how much you standing in your light and standing in your grounded masculine power is is such a powerful such a such a strong catalyst for change not just in your own life, but in the lives of those around you and all the lives that you serve. And it's 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 showing you this oh, this world belongs to you. The world that you create, the world that you decide to live in belongs to you and you get to choose what that looks like. You get to choose the rules. Of course, that has to be within your karmic circumstances and aligned with your soul mission. But while that can feel like an imposition on your freedom and on your self-expression, it's truly the, the freest you could be is aligned with, with your heart in that space of Ex of ever expanding compassion because that's the seat of your divinity your heart it's also the seat of divinity in your heart next to you so look at you this beautiful beautiful pearl in this oyster revealing radiance my light illuminates the world your light illuminates the world. And it's from that place that you'll be able to come into union with your divine feminine. When you're clear, when you're balanced in your heart, and when you appreciate how freaking special you are, how unique you are, and how, how nuanced your gifts are according to your own propensities and desires, once you accept and embrace this and release every every false story that has convinced you otherwise that your gifts have to be delivered a certain way that they're telling you to when you own your service and devote yourself to it that opens your heart and allows your soul to shine and that that's like, 
the the clear union body you're you're ready to draw in the feminine and from that space you can hold space for the feminine her her standing in that mirrored energy won't won't trigger any any trauma shards still left in your chakra body it won't cause you to repel away in pain because i hear you i hear you you're not looking for that again not in this lifetime whether you've met already in this life or it's been lifetimes since you've been able to connect i know that's not what you're looking for again So, let's see if we can get some advice for you. Any last message? Not this deck. What deck? Okay. The Buddha Wisdom Divine Masculine by Sofa Chan. Okay, messages for the Divine Masculine Twin Flame Collective. Yeah, similar to what we were saying. It says, guard your mind with vigilance, nurture the positive and remove the negative. Your mind will find peace. Mm -hmm. Mm. See yourself in others. Then who can, whom can you hurt? What harm can you do? Mm. Mm -hmm. And be still and loving and fearless for the t mind talks and the heart knows. Yeah. So again, with this whole foggy mindedness, it's coming back to your heart space, doing what you can to stay grounded and aligned to your truth. And when the dust settles, you'll be able to see clearly, obviously, but see yourself for the powerful magician that you are. Wow. Okay. I love that for you. <laughs> Union's coming, like you're close. You're close. Like this, this, this pearl is like pure. You see that lustrous white beauty? <laughs> like this pearl is pure. And then you, in the union body, your union body must be clear and integrated in order for there to be enough room in your life for your divine feminine and for your joint partnership with your divine feminine so yeah i i'm loving i'm loving the compassion that you're having for yourself the grace that you're allowing yourself in this process of transformation you deserve it you deserve a gentle love you deserve a gentle and compassionate care. That's so sweet. All right, Divine Masculines, rooting for you. Stay grounded.